Hello and welcome to WooCommerce plugin series of Quick Tips. In this series of videos, I will show you all the details about WooCommerce plugin to create e-commerce website. If you are new to my channel, then do subscribe to the channel to get the quick tips on website design, search engine optimization and social media marketing tools. So let's start with the video. So in this video, we will discuss about the discount and coupon settings in WooCommerce website. And we will see what are the types of coupons you can create in a WooCommerce website. So I am already logged into the WordPress dashboard of WooCommerce website. Now here you can go to WooCommerce and sometimes you will see the option here coupons. If the option is not here, you can see marketing and under marketing you will see coupons. Go to coupons and if this is the first time you are creating a coupon, you will see the option create your first coupon click on it now the first type will be a percentage discount we will start with percentage discount now I'll enter the name of the coupon it will be easy 10 this is just like get 10% discount discount on shopping so the coupon code will be easy 10 and it will be 10% discount on shopping and here you will see discount type that will be percentage discount coupon amount it will be 10 percent so you can enter 10 here so, so this will be the 10 percent of the shopping cart if you want to allow free shipping you can check this box now you can set the date the expiry date for this uh, coupon also so right now i'll select the last day of this month so this coupon will be valid till 28th feb 2022 after that this coupon code will not be valid so this will be the expiry date for this coupon now this is the second tab usage restriction if you want people to spend minimum amount you can enter that here I'll say 1000 so it will be like 1000 rupees so people will have to buy products above 1000 rupees and this is the maximum spend I'll mention it as 10,000 so within 1000 to 10,000 there will be a discount of 10% this is the option individual use only so this coupon will not be used in conjunction with another coupon so only one coupon will be valid at the time so people will not be able to enter another coupon when you use this one so check this box now these are the products if you want to specify some product you can select you can enter the name of the product and it will be applied to that particular product only exclude product if you want to exclude any particular product from this coupon then you can enter the name of that product and that will be excluded from the coupon settings if you want any particular category of products you can mention it here if you want to exclude category you can mention it here if you want this coupon to be valid for particular email addresses only then you can enter the email addresses here otherwise it will be valid for all the users now let's go to the third option usage limit usage limit per coupon if you want this coupon to be used only 50 times then the first 50 users will be able to use this coupon so this there will be a limitation for the uh, use of this coupon so only 50 times this coupon will be valid if you want you can limit the usage of the items also and this is the option usage limit per user so this will be like one user can use this coupon only one time if you want you can change if you change it to number two then a person can use this coupon two times so i leave it to one so this coupon will be used by one user for one time only all right so let's publish this coupon and let's see how does this work okay i'm on the shop let's add some products to the cart one two let's add this one also all right now go to shopping cart All right now here enter the coupon easy 10 and click on apply coupon now you can see that 10 percent has been deducted so the total amount is 1515 and the 10 percent of that is 151 so that coupon has been applied you will see the message also here 
So this is how you can apply this coupon. Now let's move on to the another coupon. Now let's see other type of coupon. Now if you want to give a discount of particular amount, then there will be the second option. Now this is the second option, fixed card discount. So this is the second type of coupon that you can create where you will give a particular amount of off on a particular on a shopping cart. Let's try this one free 200. So this is just the name of the coupon and the description will be get 200 off on a purchase of 2000 and more. All right. So whenever someone purchases more than 2000, then there will be an off of 200 rupees. All right, so this is the name of the coupon and this is the description and the amount will be 200. All right, so this is what the amount that we have mentioned here. Okay, now allow free shipping, leave it as it is and expiry date. Right now the second tab usage restriction, minimum spend 2000 and maximum spend if you want to limit them, you can mention the maximum spend individual use only so this coupon will be used individually it will not be used in conjunction with another coupon check this box the same options are here if you want to include or exclude any particular product you can mention here usage limit usage limit uh, if you want uh, you can use this coupon only for 20 times and one coupon per user so one person can use this coupon only one time let's publish it all right now let me remove this coupon and let's use the other coupon and apply coupon now you will see that the minimum spend for this coupon is 2000 and here we have only uh, 1515 rupees so we will need to add more products to the card so let's go back to the card All right now the card is more than 2000 and try this coupon again all right now the maximum spend is more than 5000 so it's not working let's remove this one let's remove all the three products and try the coupon again now you can see that the coupon has been applied successfully and there is an offer rupees 200 only all right now if i try to apply another coupon it will not take the other coupon you can see that easy 10 the first coupon that we tried click apply coupon now you can see that the first coupon has been applied and the second coupon has been removed automatically so this is how you can use only one coupon at a at, at a time you cannot use two coupons at the same time if you uncheck this box then you can apply multiple coupons. Let's try that one also. All right, so I have unchecked the option on both the coupons and now let's refresh it and try the second coupon that is free dump 200, apply. Now you can see that both the coupons are applied successfully. So this is how it works. Let's uh, check these boxes again. Now let's add one more coupon. Now here you will see the third option that is fixed product discount. Now this type of coupon will be applied to a particular product. Now let's try the new coupon that will be yoga 50. And the description will be get 50 rupees discount on yoga. All right, now fixed amount will be 50 and it will be valid till 28. Usage restriction, minimum spend 1000 and check this box and product. We are going to add product that will be yoga, one hour yoga session. And this coupon will be applied only for this product. Let's publish it. Let's go back to the cart, remove this product. 
and go to the shop again now let's add this yoga and add one more thing okay now let's go back to the card okay now apply the coupon yoga 50 now you can see that this coupon has been applied because we have the product here the yoga session is here now if I remove this then you will see this this coupon is not valid because we removed that particular product from the shopping cart all right so this is how the three types of coupons work in WooCommerce website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips